Brothers and sisters of the celestial energies, brother wisdom. All right. Uh, I hope you guys saw the posting uh, talking about expanding your the quantum realm within you. Very important posts that can that uh, because what we must understand is that the quantum realm is a realm of pure power. But in order to link into it, or in order to for it to be active within you, you must have one main ingredient. You must believe in yourself. Not believe in Jesus or God or Allah or Amen Ra. All right, he got up, he got those the brothers out there talking about Amen Ra. You know, you believe in an Amen. No, believe in yourself. All right, that's the only way. All right, it's not Jehovah or Buddha or any of that stuff. It's literally going into the quantum realm, tapping into the quantum realm by believing solely in yourself. All right, in order to move into the quantum realm, you must uh, understand that meditation is the key. All right. The meditative uh, 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 state of mind is the key. And when you go into meditation, you're raising your vibrational energies by linking into the um, kinetic energy around you. So, you know, first of all, you know, someone say hey, it's, it's OK, it's, it's about going into the astral realm because someone asked me, uh, sent me an inbox, asked me, can I teach them? How to go into the astral realm? I said I cannot teach you. I cannot teach you how to think. The astral realm is a it's a thought realm. It's a realm where you are using your um, subconscious mind, which is that spiritual brain called the cerebellum. All right, you're not using your your conscious mind. You're not using your brain. You're using your the 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 brain behind your brain, which is that cerebellum. The cerebellum is your subconscious or that spiritual mind, okay? That's how you use the, uh, or, or link into the quantum realm, all right? Understand the importance of this, this type of knowledge because we are going into a higher mindset right now, all right? We're linking into a higher mindset. We're going into higher dimensional realms within ourselves, okay? Remember, all of the dimensional gateways are wide open right now. All of the dimensional gateways are wide open, all right? And it's, it's, it's highly important that you look into this. Now you expand the quantum realm. So if you are working with one energy, let's just say you're working with, um, like I did in the, um, in, the, in the thing, I said if you're working with electricity, then you want to expand your quantum realm or you expand your yeah your, your quantum realm to magnetism okay I'm trying to get comfortable guys <laughs> oh just got off of work um so you want to um expand your quantum realm to um magnetism all right now, in your, and, and the, the way to do this is you're linking into the most inner depth of yourself, going into the darkest of the dark places within yourself, all right? The darkest place that you can go into is your heart, all right? There's a black hole in your heart. Your heart is the main chakra that controls all the other chakras, all right? It's not the root chakra. It's not the third eye chakra, it's the heart chakra, all right? Because the heart chakra makes a determination of you being in feelings and emotions or you being um, what you call um, full of nature, emotionless, where you being a, 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 having a hollow soul, okay? That's highly important that we understand, all right? understand this here so you go into the most deepest darkest part of you all right this is where the most uh, uh, uh valuable 
uh, 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 power and energy comes from. All right. Once you go into that realm, you're going to hear instructions. You're going to get instructions. All right. On, on what to do, how to do it, when to do it. All right. You're going to get instructions and you're going to have to uh, um, take heed to these instructions because these, these are the ancestors who are uh, or uh, not the ancestors, I want to say the ancestors, these are the ascended masters who are sending you information. Not the ancestors, but the ascended masters. They're sending you information and telling you, hey, you got to do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. All right. So I got the instruction earlier to uh, expand the quantum realm. So I was like, how do I expand the quantum realm? So I had to go into meditation to figure that out. All right. So as I went into meditation, I listened to some epic music. You know, epic music really helped me out. Sometimes I listen to heavy metal, but, you know, and other times I listen to um, frequencies. But this time I listened to the epic music because, you know, it had like the horn and the trombone and the cymbals and the violin and the and the oboe. And it had, you know, the drums, you know, had had all these uh, different um, um, powerful instruments. All right. So as I sat in meditation and I said, how do I expand the quantum realm? That's what that's the, the answer I got. You know, you go within yourself and you link into one. You know, the power that you have and you uh, uh, begin to focus on another power. All right. So to go from electricity to magnetism is going upwards. All right. To go from electricity to magnetism is going upward because uh, uh, the magnetism is the highest form of energy known across the cosmos. All right. Now, uh, to go from magnetism to light energy is going upward because light energy is the most pro, uh, pro, prolific or proficient energy across the cosmos. Okay. Now, then you can go from light energy to dark energy. Dark energy is the most detrimental energy across the cosmos. Okay? So you can just keep going upward and upward and upward. You can go from dark energy to pure darkness. All right? To pure darkness. All right? And you, become, you can become a, a part of the nothing. And that's when you go into the highest part, because within the nothing, though they say, it said that there is nothing, that's where everything, the nothing is full of all of the power that you need. OK, and that's that Phoenix state of being. All right. That's going to that Phoenix where, you know, the Phoenix, everybody thinks that the Phoenix is, you know, all about fire. No, the Phoenix is, is all about replacing everything into the state of balance so you go into meditation and you want to put your palms down on your on your on your lap all right and, and you don't want to place them down completely on your lap you just want to cup them up a little bit you know kind of like create them in the, in the shape of a cup so that um so that you can feel that energy all right flowing between your your the the middle of your hand and your thighs okay and this is this is actually this is going into the uh the the darkness within you all right within your thighs you got to understand that within your thighs the thighs represent the uh the uh the force of the fire all right so when you're dealing with the force of fire you're dealing with dark energy okay no matter what you, no matter how you explain it, dark fire is nothing but pure dark energy. Okay. Oh, let me take this thing off my neck. That's what's bothering me. I'm trying to make it comfortable. Ah. Cool. All right, better. All right. So, um, this is the importance of um, going in, expanding the quantum realm. All right. Astral projection, someone, you know, like the, the brother said, can you teach me astral projection? Astral projection, like I said, is you going into the cerebellum, you're going, you're using your subconscious, all right? 
your subconscious, like I said, it's your spiritual mind. I'm being re a bit redundant, you know, but for those who um, just for some reason, I think I, I got this feeling that someone's going to ask this question over again. So uh, the cerebellum, which is the subconscious mind, is your spiritual mind. And this is where you link into the, the astral realm. You, all right, you don't uh, link into the astral realm with your brain. You listen, link into the astral realm with your cerebellum, with your subconscious mind. This is where you learn everything that you need to know. All right, this is where you go and meet the, the ascended masters. You can see the ancestors. You can meet yourself. All right, we are very complex beings. All right, now going into the uh, expanded um, the the expanded quantum realm you also will expand your soul your soul remember your soul is that fire within you all right that is just in between your solar plexus and your heart all right that's what you that's where your soul is all right so um your soul will expand which means that your soul will become more powerful all right and this all depends upon your heart whether you're going to be emotional or whether you're going to throw your emotions to the side and become all powerful and become almighty all right so just wanted to uh, uh share this with you guys because um Expanding the quantum realm is highly important. All right. This is how you go into higher powers. All right. I would love to go to war with these beings right now, but nah, it ain't the time. All right. Some of us have, have got a lot of work to do and we've got a very short amount of time, which means that we got to we got to do some work. It's like you're going to school and you got homework to do. All right. Nobody's going to do your homework for you. Nobody's, you know, so nobody's going to go into meditation for you. Nobody's going to do Tai Chi for you. Nobody's going to go within yourself for you. There's a lot of our people who wants us, want someone to give them the answers to everything because they don't want to go within themselves. You know, they just want to sit back and, uh, okay, give me the answer. And I don't want to have the, that's, and those are the ones who, who, who were in school and didn't make it. All right. Those are the ones who didn't graduate. Because they wanted someone to get the answer and didn't want, uh, didn't want to do the studying themselves. All right. When you go into meditation, you're studying. All right. You're studying yourself. You're finding out who you are, what powers you have, what abilities you have, your weaknesses, your strengths. All right. Your ups, your downs, your everything. All right. Your personalities, your characteristics. You know, the beauty of you, the, the ugliness of you. You're, you're learning all this stuff. All about yourself as you go into meditation. This is all a part of expanding your quantum realm because you know you have to be your own judge. Someone says, you know, well, you can't judge yourself. Why can't you judge yourself? Tell me why you can't. Why you can't judge yourself? You're the one who's got to live inside of you. You're the one who's got to deal with you. You're the one who's got to uh, make this body stronger that you live within. So yes, you have to judge yourself. All right. Because if you don't judge yourself, then you can't correct the the what you what you, your mistakes. And, not, and it's not to say that there's there's right and wrong, all right. But there are mistakes that we do, all right. And sometimes those mistakes can can cost us. You know, you and and it's, I can't say it's not the right decision, but you made a decision. You made a decision based upon what you were feeling. And this is what we got to get away from is feeling because you you cannot expand the quantum realm by be, by basing things on feelings and emotions. You cannot. It's impossible to expand the quantum realm based upon feelings and emotions because this is what destroys the most inner part of us is uh, the feelings and the emotions. All right. So uh, expanding the quantum realm. All right, highly important. So you're going to go into your meditative state. You want to go into meditation. All right, you want to link into yourself. As you link into yourself, you can you connect with the kinetic energy. You say within yourself, "I 
expand the kinetic energy all around me. All right. So you need that extra energy, that kinetic energy. You're gonna feel the you're gonna feel the surges of the kinetic energy all around you. You're gonna feel you know powerful surges everywhere. All right. And then I will, as you feel that, you link into whatever power you have. So uh, you know, these are the lessons that I was getting as I was uh, in meditation from the from the ascended masters. So you say, okay, I have I have electricity. So I say now I I um, I upgrade myself or I expand my quantum realm to the power of magnetism. If you work with the power of wind, if you work wind. All right. If you work when uh, you want to expand your uh, your um, quantum realm to water or to fire. All right. So you want to expand. So it's, it's just that you are you are going within yourself and entering or creating gateways to make yourself more powerful all right all the gateways that are within you are designed to make yourself more powerful more energetic more um beneficial to the most inner parts of you all right so just wanted to share that with you guys all right Share it with you guys so that you can, you know, have an idea of what is about, what is, what's, what's about the, uh, the, what's all about the expanding the quantum realm. All right. That's what it's all about. That's just what it's all about. It's all about you going within yourself. Remember, the only way that you can expand your quantum realm is to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, then you are literally hopeless because there's nothing else to believe in. You can't believe in Osiris or Isis. You can't believe in Jesus. You can't believe in the Holy Ghost and Allah and Buddha and Amen Ra. You have to believe in yourself. All right. That's the main thing and expanding the quantum realm. And once you believe in yourself, you are opening the gateways for all powers to enter all right, and for you to link up with all powers. Remember, the demonic forces are not evil, no matter what anyone says. The demonic forces are not evil. The demonic forces is just what they are, demonic forces. All right, that's when you go into the absolute power. So when you expand, expanding the quantum realm, you are literally opening the gateways for true absolute power, for the force, all right? So we can be the true multi-dimensional beings and not one-dimensional beings. Because when you're dealing with one power, you're only one-dimensional being. But when you're dealing with multiple powers, you're multi-dimensional beings. Okay? Highly important that we understand this, guys. Okay? Highly important. All right, guys? So just wanted to share that with you. Um, hope this was helpful to you guys. Hope this was truly helpful to you guys. I'll check you guys a little later. Let me get in this house from all this fake ass snow that they created. <laughs> and I'll catch you guys a little later. All power to the multi-chakra celestial energy beings. Peace to you all.